Hello, you answered this video. Let us talk about another easy problem. The problem name is find the maximum achievable number. Let us talk about the problem statement first. It states that you are given two integers num and t, as you can see in the input. Now, an integer x is called achievable if it can become equal to num after applying the following operation no more than t times. So, a number x is called achievable. You can achieve it. If it becomes equal to num, so an x, if it becomes equal to num, it will be called achievable after doing t number of operations, no more than t. Now, what is those operations are increase or decrease x by one and simultaneously increase or decrease nums by one. So there is some x you can increase or decrease it by one and simultaneously you'll increase or decrease num by also one in each step. That is called one step. Return the maximum possible achievable number. So what is the maximum possible number that you can achieve by doing this particular operation? Let's take some examples only to make it more clear. Let's take that you have a number which is three. Okay, let's bring down the whiteboard. Uh, let's take an example that you have a number which is equal to three. Okay, now let's make it three. Now in each step what you can do is you can increase or decrease this num and also there is some random number let's not random there is some number x that you want to maximize. And in each step you can increase or decrease nums whereas also increase and decrease x. Now because you want to maximize them let's assume some number line here. Because like increase and decreasing it just means that you are moving along some number line. Let's say x is somewhere ahead because you want to maximize it. In each step if you increase nums and if you decrease x then only at a certain point they can become equal because your target is that after t steps After t steps, you have to in somehow make your num equal to x. Now, if x is somewhere ahead on the number line, you have to somehow bring it equal to, let's say, x after t steps. So, the distance between x and this number will be 2t. Why? Because after t steps, the maximum num can increase is t let's say i am at three i can move five steps so i can move one two three four five i can get to maximum of three plus five that is eight okay similarly x also in t steps can only decrease by value that is equal to t okay so it can come down to maximum of t so if they want to meet at a particular point what will happen is that x has to come t steps here and, and uh, this num has to increase t steps here. So the distance between them is 2t. So what is the value of x? The value of x is num plus 2t. That is the value of x. And that's what you actually want to find out the value of x. The maximum possible and that's the maximum possible. Okay. There can be multiple more that we can achieve. But that's the maximum possible because that's the farthest from num. That's a complete logic for this particular problem. Nothing much complicated to itself. So the output is just as you can see, num plus two t. <laughs> just one line code. That what is the value of x? That is num plus two t. That's it. That's a complete logic and a good part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box of this particular video. I will see you in the next video coding and bye.